meteorologist Francis Payton. Well, it's Bring Your Dog to Work Day, and I think we uh, have a pretty decent day for the pups out here. She always likes to do that once the weather starts. Anyways, typically you see your high temperature around 88 degrees this time of year and your morning lows in the 60s. We had another really wonderful start to the day. We start off this morning with temperatures in the 50s. And unfortunately, that looks to be your last day starting in the 50s for quite some time because things are starting to heat up. Let's review the past 10 days. In the past 10 days, we've only had one day hit 90 degrees. Excuse me, two days hit 90 degrees. However, this is going to look drastically different by the time we actually see this in the next 10 days because we are starting to see things warm up. So hopefully we're able to enjoy Wednesday and Thursday. Look at that, we couldn't even break in 80 degrees, but this afternoon, I guarantee you, we will. Right now, temperatures are hanging out in the upper 70s throughout the entire Commonwealth. Pretty steady hanging in the 70s, around 77 to 78, the most popular numbers on the board. But you're looking at high temperatures today in the upper 70s to lower 80s this afternoon. You have a slight chance of seeing a couple isolated storms now, excuse me, a couple isolated showers. Not looking at any storm activity until Saturday. I'm getting ahead of myself. But there you have lows tonight. We stay warm. Lows in the mid to upper 60s. You'll notice that difference when you wake up tomorrow morning and you don't have that crisp, fresh air that we dealt with this morning. We're looking at partly cloudy skies tonight and staying much warmer. So we have a warm front lifting over the area this afternoon, which will bring us the chance of seeing a few showers throughout the area. The best chance between two to six o'clock, I would say. After that, we're looking at partly cloudy skies, and then we'll wake up on Saturday morning with a light cloud, the blanket of cloud cover, and then that's when your storm chances is what I was getting ahead of. Storm chances return to the area on Saturday afternoon and a similar setup for Sunday as well because temperatures are heating up. Highs on Saturday in the upper 80s, which will be close to a seasonable day. But look at the stretch of 90s. Yes, we're in a hot and humid trend. So if you need to escape the heat this weekend, it looks to be excellent conditions at the James. The water level will be under five feet and if your travels take you to the beach, water temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to the lower 80s, that'll be really refreshing, cool water to give you some relief from the heat. If you're wondering when this will break, really doesn't look to break until next weekend when we start to have more seasonable temperatures move into the region. Quick update of the tropics. The system that was off the west coast of Africa now only has a 20% chance of developing to be our next tropical cyclone. So that system continues to weaken. As for us, enjoy today because it's going to be hot for the next seven days. Cheryl. Thank you, Francis. Well, we are gearing up for a favorite annual